All right. So uh, as part of the, the personalized learning committee, we kind of discussed last week different keys and elements of Schoology and other areas that you can use to help you do distance learning. And I think this is a real big thing about how Schoology can be helpful as far as an organizational standpoint. Um, so this is my page. And if you notice here on the right, this is all the due dates for my assignments for both my classes, U.S. History and IB History. Now, this will end up showing up on students as well. Like they'll get a list of all these things. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to set these things, but then also how to kind of utilize the calendar tool to put these together. And there's also a directions um, link that I'll include with this that will give you kind of the written directions of how to use the calendar. So I just kind of want to show you how to set due dates. Um, there's some little things that I'm going to show you through my IB history class. When you go into the class, you'll eventually, if you set these due dates, they'll show up on the right hand side. They're really easy to set. Um, and probably I'm sure most people kind of know this, but if you're really new to doing Schoology, this is a cool little thing to know. You know, you have this assignment right here. You just click on the gear, you do edit, and then you set the due date right here. You do the date, you do the time, um, and then when you save it, it'll come up down on the bottom of the assignment, and then it'll also be in that front page. Um, a couple little things that you can do to kind of uh, play around with due dates too is uh, if you wanted to set something for like a range, so like for example, for a summative like this, um, you can actually set the date range that these things will show up. So for example, if I take you into like uh, my US history course, um, what you can do is basically set a due date for a test um, like this by showing a range of time when this can be done. And so like in the settings, you can do submissions and you can enable it from a certain date. So you can actually set it like say Friday at eight o'clock in the morning, and then they can only submit for that time period. Um, you can set it for like an hour at a certain time. You can set it for a range of days. So this is a good thing to do as well. Um, but then ultimately what you have to do is set this due date of here when it's finally gonna be due. All right, now all of this really comes into uh, a lot of good play for organizational skills when you get into this icon, all right? This is your calendar. And uh, this calendar is actually kind of interesting to use. Uh, I never really used it that much before, but if you notice what it does is it basically sets a calendar setting for the assignments that are due that day. So like here you can see uh, at the top, I have just six calendars set and these are all my try three ones. So if I just wanted to look at, oh, what do I have to do for IB history? Now, obviously for students, they're gonna see their seven classes. And if I do that, I basically get, oh, well, this is what I have to do on Monday. This is what I have to do on Tuesday or Wednesday. And this is what I have to do on Thursday. And really you don't have to do anything for this. This is all there. Um, it's just a way of kind of making sure that you click on these things. So it might be something that you might wanna write up as a little assignment really to kind of get it out and engage with students um, and how to use the calendar. They can also set their own personal calendar as well um, by just basically clicking on a box and creating an event. Um, and so one of the things that I started doing with some students is setting this up for a certain time where they could do U.S. history work or do whatever work they're doing so that they could kind of see like, oh, this is where I need to schedule that. Um, and so like, for example, 424 at 8 a.m., I'm going to do finish U.S. history work. I'm just going to type in U.S. history. And I can do an RSVP um, where you can invite other people to be in a group with you. I don't need that, obviously. And then I do create. Well, and then when I switch this to just my folder, I can see, okay, well, at that time on Friday, I'm going to go and do it. All right. And so then what I do is I go back up here and go, okay, well, what do I have to do for U.S. history? Here's my assignment each day. You know, at this point, it's Friday. I want to make sure that I do that. Now, again, the only thing that will show up are the things that are listed. All right. Uh, so that's uh, those two things. Um, it's kind of a cool little uh, trick to kind of get kids to kind of figure out what they're organizing and how they're organizing. Um, obviously, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ever send me an email or other people as part of the, the personalized learning committee. Thank you.